My journey with hair has impacted the way that I treat hair with my daughters. I want to make sure with my girls that they love their hair in whatever form it's in, and they see the beauty in it always. There were parts of my life that I didn't see the beauty in my hair, and I don't want them to go through that same journey or struggle that I did. My name is Jessica Durand. I have three daughters, and today you're gonna watch me style my nine-year-old's hair. I had Anaya when I was 20, and that did affect me, my relationship with motherhood and how I viewed being a mom. We basically grew up together. We have a different type of relationship because I was learning how to be a mom, and I still am. Being a mom at 20 is hard. You don't know who you are. You don't know much of anything, really, at least for me, I didn't. And so it kind of shaped who I was as a mom to my other kids as well throughout the years. So our normal everyday routine, I do the hair. I always do the hair, all the girls, it's all me. And I usually try to let them pick the style that they want to kind of give them that little bit of, you know, independence. The TikTok video of mine that went viral was of me doing Anaya's hair before school. That morning, she did not like the fact that she was getting her hair done second. And so because of that, she said she didn't want to get her hair done. I said, okay, that is your right. You don't have to get it done, knowing that she would probably want her hair done later. Once we got to school that day, she was very upset in the back seat. She was still crying. And so I looked at her and I said, would you like me to do your hair? And she just said, yes, please. I decided to record the moment that day for a couple of reasons. The first reason was just logistically, I wanted to be able to see what I was doing. And, you know, I recorded because I felt like I wanted to be able to see that moment later, looking back. We got out and I didn't have a brush with me, and so I had to just kind of use my hands and the water that I had in the car to try to do the best that I could, because I wanted her to go to school feeling as confident as possible. Seeing the way that she responded to me was kind of, it was beautiful kind of watching back. The reason I posted it, honestly, is because I felt like the moment was beautiful. I never would have thought that so many people would have also seen the moment and felt exactly what I was feeling. I asked her and I said, is it okay if I post this? And she said, yeah, that's so cool. And then it, you know, a lot of other people thought it was cool too. The video ended up getting about 20 million views. It was a little shocking because to think that just a video that I posted was healing for other people, I think that also kind of sparked something in me that like, okay, so the things that I'm posting that are meaningful to me are actually helping other people. So I think that it was a pretty cool experience. My name is Anaya and I'm nine years old. <laughs> Boom. My favorite thing about my mom styling my hair is she always lets me pick. She's really gentle and she's really careful. My mom tells me that my hair is beautiful and I don't have to change it. I feel happy after my mom does my hair. My mom teach me about my hair that it's really beautiful and I should um, take care of it and that I'm, that I'm really lucky to have curly hair. The style that we're doing today is more of a treat. This is not necessarily, you know, a rushed morning type of hair routine. This is like a Saturday at home. We might be watching a movie and she's like, hey, can you, you know, give me a style I can wear for a couple of days. So first up, I'm just gonna kind of get her hair nice and wet because it's dry right now. And so it's easiest to do when it's, you know, just in a wet state. Right down. So for detangler, I use the Cantu for kids. Um, I have found that with my girls, this is great for just like the everyday mornings um, when we just add some water, some detangler to help freshen their hair up a bit from day to day. This has been what their curls have reacted to best. Um, it helps with frizz um, and things along those lines. Our next step is we're gonna go in with the detangling brush. 
and I'm gonna start at the ends and then I'm gonna work my way up. And then this is the comb that I'm gonna use to do her parting, which is nice because it has this front section here, which allows me to get the part nice and straight and even in all the sections. So I'm gonna start with the middle part. And then once I get the middle part set, everything else I kind of will go based upon that middle part. So now I'm gonna part it on this side of the head and then I'll clip it and I'll mirror it and do the same on the other side. This is probably the hardest part of this hairstyle is getting the part right. So once you get that part, you're kind of golden. Now we're gonna do the same to the other side. So now I'm gonna take this side here and I'm going to just put it up. Now we're gonna part this section. What's your most favorite part? I get to pick out the last. Now I'm gonna put a little bit of edge booster on here. Now I'm gonna take this section here and I'm going to use my clip. So I'm just gonna clip that here and turn you back. Now I'm gonna do one more section to make these three even sections. So now for this section here, I'm gonna section this into two pieces. Right down the middle. Just wanna make sure it's even. I think it's even. I think it's even. I think it is. Okay. Now this is the fun part. I'm gonna get my elastics. You said you wanted purple. And you just wrap the elastic around. So now you've got that one piece in. I'm gonna add some of my edge control. So this time around, you're gonna take the top piece. Usually I like to swirl it a little bit. And I'm gonna connect it to the back piece. And then you're gonna put it all together into this new elastic. Okay, so now we're gonna do the same thing two more times on this side. There's things about the the density of her hair, the type of hair that she has that impacts how I style it. Some of the traditional styles that I would use for my hair growing up, because my hair is a little more coarse, are just not the same styles that her hair can withstand. But it's okay, because it's all a learning process and we're learning what each of our hair needs. So now we've done one half. So we're gonna turn her around and then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Do you like doing my hair? I do, I do like doing your hair. It's actually very fun for me and calming for me when I do your hair. Believe it or not, I enjoy it. I am just gonna make sure that this section here matches this first section here, just so it's even. That's perfect. Okay, last one. Now that we got all of our sections done, I'm going to start with getting most of the hair back first, and then I'm going to add some of my edge control. And then we're going to use our tight brush. We're going to get it nice and smooth. And now I'm just going to put this back, and I'm going to grab all of these pieces along with it. We're just going to get them up in the ponytail. We're just gonna kind of clean up these sections with a little more of the edge control. And then we just go back with our brush here. We're gonna use some more water. We use lots of water in this house. I'm gonna brush it over again. We use the curling cream just to bring out all the curls in her ponytail. We also like to take the little pieces, just give it a twirl. Okay, you ready? I'm gonna spin you. Yep. One, two, three. Okay. I love it. You haven't seen it yet. I love it. You like it? I love it. Oh, look how beautiful it is. I love it. Oh, good. It you looks look so pretty. Hair for me, I think, has always been very important to me. For me growing up, hair was an important piece of who I was. And so, if anything, my mom always made sure that I felt beautiful with my hair 
And so as an adult, like I've been relearning what that beauty looks like, how to do my hair in different ways. Good, love it. As a black woman, my hair is important to me. I find meaning and beauty in my hair, the way that society looks at me based upon my hair. And so with my girls, I have three girls, it's something that I'm instilling in, in them, is them feeling beauty in their hair and them loving whatever form it's in and how versatile it is. I hope that other moms don't feel alone in this experience because motherhood can be very isolating and you go through this journey thinking you're the only one feeling these things or that it's not okay to feel the things that you're feeling. And so part of my platform is just letting other moms understand that whatever it is that you're feeling, you're a mom that loves your child and you're doing the best that you can. So pretty. I feel really happy when my mom does my hair and I feel strong. I look pretty. You look beautiful. Didn't ask, I asked if I look pretty. You look pretty, yes. <laughs>